I'm Lori Zatelli from UPMC in Pittsburgh, and I'm creating this video to show you what it looks like in Qualtrics for a survey that I've created to collect all of the AUD externship application data. Um, so if you are in Qualtrics and you're looking at the survey that you've created, which is what you would see in the previous video that I created, if you click on this tab that says data and analysis, it will take you to all of the responses. So you will have options to view each one of these responses individually, or you can export it to a spreadsheet, and I'll show you how to do both. So um, all of these columns here are showing, showing you the different data points for each of the entries. So it'll show you when the, the submission was um, sent in. It'll show you the first and last name of the student applicant in this column, the AED program that they attend, which option that they selected related to what kind of submitter they are, um, and so on and so forth. If you want to change these so that you're viewing different questions, you can also um, play a little bit with that and have some flexibility there. So if you wanted to look at a specific submission, you could click on this uh, three, bar, three little dots over here and select view response, and it will pop up a window that lets you see this person's answers to all of the questions. So this is someone who indicated that they were an instructor or a faculty coordinator. So this first set of questions is going to be blank because it wouldn't have populated for them. Those are only for the AUD student applicants. So here's where we pick up. So it's telling me that the person who submitted this response, his name was Dr. Webb. Um, their email address is listed here. This is the name of the student that they are supporting with their letter and the AUD program that the student attends. This here is a copy of their, um, a PDF version of their letter of introduction. So if you click on this link here, it is going to download that file. And then if you click open file, it will take you directly to a page that lists that. Um, if you are done looking at this response, you can say close. You can also look at all of this as a spreadsheet. So you'll click on this uh, right here that says import and export data, and you'll select export. It will default to a CSV spreadsheet. So you can just go ahead and say download. It's usually pretty quick. Uh, depending on how many responses you have. If you have a lot, it may take a little bit longer. Um, this top one here is the file that was just downloaded. So I'm going to open that there. And I'll pull this over here for you. This is the file that we've created. So this is our spreadsheet. And you can look at this in a lot of different ways. There are going to be some columns that are not particularly important for you. Generally, I, I tend to delete the first several columns. Alternatively, you could just scroll over and see what you're looking at here. Um, so you can sort these in a way that makes it a little bit easier for to see what you're looking at. So this entire line is going to tell you the responses for this AUD student applicant. And this is going to be applicant number one. Um, so it's going to tell you their responses to each of the questions. So first question is which AUD program do they attend? They say program A. Their next response is their email address. So applicant one at email.com. And then the next um, one is related to the file that they uploaded. So this is their Vita. And then this is going to be um, their letter of interest. The last one is going to be indicating what they said they wanted to do in terms of whether they wanted to come in person or on Zoom. Um, the next, and, and then you'll see there are several blank spaces here. And that's because these are all people who have indicated that they are submitting letters of recommendation. So again, each line is going to, each um, row is going to represent a response from a different person. And again, you can see their email address in the next column there. You can see the applicant for which they're submitting the, the letter, and then it's showing you that there was a PDF uploaded. Um, so this is how you see all of the information in one place. And as I showed before, you can also view responses individually. Hope this helps.